put on the garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Life over the last few months has been different in so many ways. One of the differences was for us, wasn't it? We uh, were out here quite a lot making videos for the kids in the church and doing all kinds of things to sort of illustrate the stories of Jesus. Not something I'd ever imagined we'd be doing. And here as we, we sit here today, one of the things that's changed again is just the noise. You can hear so much more traffic on the road than there were back in the days of lockdown. And life has, has changed and will continue to change because life is always changing. And some of those changes are easy to adapt to and some are much more challenging for us. Some are difficult for us. How do we learn to be content in the midst of all those changes. So easy these days to be just living our lives around our homes and, and be discontented. We could spend our time just wishing for something that we can't have or um, you know, the ability to do something that we can't do. Maybe for you, you just long to just meet people normally or, or to simply go out shopping without having to wear a mask and stay distant and queue. Maybe you'd love to go uh, somewhere like the, for me it would be the cinema or, or to be on holiday somewhere different. So easy to get caught up in all these things that we miss. Let me read Philippians 4 from verse 11. Paul says, I am not saying this because I am need, for I have learned the, to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. Paul says, I have learned to be content in all circumstances. And my question is, how did he learn that? How did he learn that contentment? Is there some kind of class that you can go to that teaches you how to be content in 10 easy steps? Or is it some special uh, skill or technique or gift that some people have inside that just uh, you unlock a key and out it comes? I think when you reflect on what Paul had been through in his life, all the ups and downs, all the, the challenges and struggles that he faced, he focuses on the strength that God gives to him. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Paul had to live through those days and rely on that strength day by day, moment by moment. And that's easier said than done, isn't it? God blessed him in his heart and in his spirit by giving him that sense of peace and contentment that comes through being in a close walk with God. And I'm sure Paul had to focus on how he lived his life day by day and hour by hour. That daily walk with God, that, that daily focus on being satisfied with him and being focused on him, being focused on the wonderful salvation that Christ had brought into this world, the kingdom that Christ had come to unveil and to bring day by day, hour by hour, until it came in all its fullness. I know I have a lot more learning to do. I need to continue to focus on all that I have in Christ, to ponder his goodness and his greatness, his faithfulness and his love, to delight in his presence and his salvation, to allow that to be the focus of my days so that in every day, good or bad, I know what it is to be content. And I pray that he would bless you with contentment in these days. God bless. Put on the garments of praise for the Spirit.